How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Utah Anglers video. Today, I'm just here to explain that I haven't posted anything for about the past two or three months. Just because I've been, I haven't, I've been filming, but I haven't really filmed anything that I thought was super good. Uh, enough to make its own video. So I have a bunch of footage left over from random trips that didn't really come together into anything special. So I thought that I would make a series of videos showing off this footage that I really just wasn't going to do anything with, but I realized I could turn these into videos, and they'd probably still be pretty good. Uh, the first video I have is me fishing in Mill Meadow uh, for trout, and then the second video is me fishing the Price River for the Utah Chub. So I hope you enjoy. There he is. Fish on. That's a good fish too. Big trout. Baba, you want to come over here where there's less wind? I just hooked up. Oh yeah. So I think it's a rainbow. Yep. Big rainbow. Big stalker rainbow. Well, he's not as big as I thought. He's just hooked weird. Nice. It's not bad. Let's go over to these rocks where we can fish without the wind. Go. Okay, look, the fish are just loaded here. It's insane. I'm throwing a white marabou jig, like a bigger, bigger size jig. I've already caught a tiger too. I was not recording for that. Like that, that was a bite. Oh, there he is. He's off. These jigs are working amazing. And especially with my, this rod, seven foot light action trout series by St. Croix works amazing for them. I don't even know if I'll make it to the creek. It's so good. Oh, and they're leaving. There he is. This is Splake. Oh, he's going. He's in the weeds. Yes, he is. Oh, he's out. He's out. And that is three, I've already caught three out of four of the species that I need for the slam. I just, yep. There's my splake. The splake. Just throw out and let it sink with slow jigs. They, it's, it's so effective. There he goes. Almost every cast I'm getting bit. There he is. Oh, lost him. Don't know what that was. It slowed down. It was amazing for the short time. Now it's not great. There's, there he is, right there. It's a splake. It's a big old splake. Oh, and it's a big old brown. There's the slam. The browns in here are very unhealthy. And that explains the crappy fight and why this fish looks like an eel. But there is my brown trout. Big mouth, tiny body. That's about a 20 inch fish that looks like an eel. Let's get a picture. 
there needs to be more forage in this lake. There's obviously not enough food to go around. When a 20 inch fish is like a pound and a half. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a big one. Rainbow. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a nice rainbow. Chunky rainbow. Oh. You forget how hard these things fight once they're... Once you get them on. A stocked fish, but he's been living in here a little while. The jumps on this fish were insane. Well, I found them. They're by this inlet. Well, they're all over, really, but this is where they're currently at. Hair-eating bow. There you go, buddy. There he is. This is a rainbow. Oh yeah. There's a rainbow. The rainbows in here aren't bad size. Not bad. That's my third rainbow of the day. And the smallest one. But he still ran hard. There's another one. rainbow except this one did not fight very hard yes let's get a picture well he's he's not really calm but we're just gonna Snap a quick pick. There he goes. What you doing, buddy? You're fine. There he goes. Fish Creek or the Price River for Utah Chub. There's a ton of them. You can see them all. For some reason, they're dying. I think they might be spawning. Uh, yeah, I want to say they're spawning. Yes, there's so many dead ones. Yeah, I feel like I want to say they're spawning. Look at how many there are. They're dead on the rocks. They're dead on the ground. What the heck? There you go. Jack is on, dude. Jack is on with a Utah chub. I know. Oh, yeah. Catch and cook, dude. Catch and cook. You want to keep some? Yeah, we'll keep this crap, guys. If they're in Jeez, not bad. What do you want me to do so much? Okay. Yay! These are nice sized chub, dude. Catch them on spinners. Why would we throw spinners? Oh my god, they're really thirsty out there. Yeah. How cold do you think this water is? Um. Like enough to where I should not walk through it to go to the other side of this thing? Uh, I would do it. You would? Yeah. Okay. We'll start keeping them later. What? We'll start keeping them later when we're more ready to leave. There's a. Yeah, what, they die after they spawn? They might. I feel like they're spawning. Hey, why is it so murky right here? Is it, do you think that's because they're spawning? I, I don't know. No, the reason it's so murky... Oh, I got a 
I got a... Little baby. Yeah, no, this is a chub. You thought you tied a shiner, huh? I thought I had a white fish, but no, I do not. They look similar, don't they? They do look really similar. Wish I had the fly rod. That'd be really fun. We're gonna double. Throw into the Merc, dude. That's where they are. Oh, he's a messed up chub, dude. Yeah. They fight pretty good when they're nice. And that's what people don't appreciate chub. I can't even say I don't appreciate chub them either, so. You don't? Not really. This isn't fun? I know it's fun, but I mean, they definitely overpopulate a lot of Utah waters. It's weird that they're native. And they do that. Out of all the places I've been to get them. What are you doing? I got a fish. Yeah, what? What? <laughs> okay, let's go. Look at how many dead ones there are. Oh my god, are they like flinging themselves onto land? Oh my god. Or is someone doing population control? Oh Jesus god. Christ. <laughs> I don't think that's population control. They're flinging themselves. The entire shoreline is dead chub. Oh, gross. Grody. Do you see him? Yeah. 